6 News at 5. Should the Oxford mass shooter be able to get parole? It's our top story today at 5. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sherry Jones. A hearing for the Oxford shooter finally wrapped up today. A judge will ultimately decide if he is eligible to get life in prison without parole. Since he is a teenager, a special hearing needs to be held to see if he can be put away for life. Kyle Macon looked into this case, and he's here for you now with more. Kyle. Sherry, Ethan Crumbly's special Miller hearing concluded today. It needs to be held before he's sentenced for murdering four of his classmates. The defense argued that Crumbly was mentally ill at the time of the shooting, saying that he suffered from hallucinations and that he should have the chance at parole. Prosecutors, on the other hand, say he deserves to spend the rest of his life in prison. They showed some of his text messages. Those text messages prove that what he, he knew what he was doing. The victim's families were in the courtroom today, and they say that whether he gets life or not, it still won't make any difference. It's like pro without parole or it gets 50 years, doesn't bring the kids home. What we all need to wake up and, and, and realize is this was an epic systematic failure. Madison Baldwin, Tate Meyer, Hannah St. Juliana, and Justin Schilling all died in the shootings. Seven others were injured, and a judge is expected to issue a final ruling on September 29th. And Crumbly will be sentenced on December 8th. Sherry, back to you. All right, thank you, Kyle.